Hello my beautiful people, welcome to my channel. If you're someone who has greys or white hairs and want to cover it in 100% natural way without using any artificial hair dyes which has harsh chemicals then this video is for you as I will be sharing with you a DIY hair remedy that not only covers your grey hair but also promotes faster hair growth and resolves hair fall issues. Well, I am excited to share this remedy with you so do watch the video all the way through to get the most of it. Dear friends, I would like to encourage you with a verse from the Bible taken from Colossians 1.11 which says, May you be strengthened with all power according to God's glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy. Isn't that wonderful my friends? Ok now without further ado let's get to the video. As you can see I have greying mostly in the crown area and there are many causes for premature hair greying and one of the main reason for me is using chemical hair dyes which in turn had worsened and increased grey hair, hair fall and also caused allergies. And it's been some time that I stopped using chemical dyes and twitched to the natural hair colouring to darken the grey hair. And this remedy has also helped me in stopping hair fall and growing back my hair faster. So like me, many of y'all must be already facing the side effects of using chemical hair dyes. This remedy has helped me and so I thought of sharing it with y'all as well. And to prepare this natural hair colour, you will need pure henna powder. But the most important thing to prepare henna is by using this rich decoction which will help you get darker colour and helps the pigment to stay in your hair for longer without fading easily. This is my best and finest way to prepare henna mixture as I will be infusing specific herbs to prepare a rich decoction to get dark pigments and also it helps in hair growth. For this you can use any pure henna of your choice. Take it as per your requirement. Like if you are covering only your crown area, you will need very little henna. But to cover entire hair, you will need roughly 2 cups depending on your hair length. Now we have to prepare this decoction to mix with henna. To a pan add 2 glasses of water and add in 2 spoons of tea leaves. Tea leaves gives good colour to henna and also helps in hair growth. Next add 1 spoon of cloves. As cloves deepen the colour of henna and are also a super food for your hair, it nourishes and stops hair fall. And also due to its medicinal properties, it prevents from catching a cold. And then add 1 spoon of black seeds, that's kalonji seeds. It also helps deepen the colour, it strengthens hair follicles and promotes wholesome hair growth. To this mix I have skipped using fenugreek or methi seeds as using it in henna catches cold or sinus if applied on hair and kept it for long period of time. And add a handful of curry leaves. These leaves boost hair growth by providing essential nutrients, minerals and vitamins to the hair. And then these are betel leaves or pan leaves which are used in making pan. And these leaves are loaded with medicinal properties. They contain a lot of nutrients and vitamin C that are essential in reducing hair fall and stimulating hair growth. It reduces dandruff and split ends while also conditioning the hair beautifully. Also adding betel leaves to henna helps to get rich deep color that lasts longer. You can take about 2 or 3 betel leaves and add it. You can find these betel leaves in any Indian stores or you can buy it online. Usually you get the dry and powdered leaves online. You can use around 2 spoons full of it. I'll provide the link in the description box. You can check it as well. And next you'll need beetroot. As nothing can beat the natural pigment of beetroot, right? When combined with henna, it gives a rich burgundy color to the hair. Now let this simmer. Beetroot is not only good for your health but also for your hair as it's rich in nutrients like iron, folate and much more which can promote healthy hair growth and prevent hair loss. And after some time you can see the color of the leaves has changed. Now turn off the flame and let this mixture sit for some time to let infuse all its goodness. Now it has slightly cooled but it should be still warm to touch. Strain it and you can see how rich the color is and all of the spices and herbs have been beautifully infused. 
Now we'll add this to henna. Here I'm using only henna powder and not mixing any other herbal powders. But if you want to add, you can do so. Mix it thoroughly to get a lump free consistency. Do not add more water as the henna paste will be very drippy when applied. Using a whisk will make it easy to mix the henna to make a smooth paste. You can already see the dark stains of henna color. Do not discard this leftover water as you may use it later to adjust the consistency of the mix if needed. Make sure the henna mix is thick enough because we'll be adding other ingredients to it later. Now cover it and let it sit overnight. And next day you can see henna has released its color. To this I'm adding one whole egg. Egg is a superfood for your hair as it's rich in vitamins which promotes hair growth and strengthens the hair, preventing them from breakage. It also helps to moisturize hair and adds shine to it. I don't mind adding egg yolk to henna hair pack as the strong smell of henna will subdue the egg smell. However, if you want to, you can skip the yolk and instead add 2 egg whites or if you don't use eggs, substitute it with 1 tablespoon of flaxseed gel, curd or yogurt. It has to be in this consistency. Now I'll show you how to apply this mask. To begin, detangle your hair to avoid hair breakage. Also apply henna mask on clean dry hair and do not apply on oiled hair. Divide the hair in small sections and apply henna generously from the roots to the hair. Sometimes I prefer applying directly without using a brush. Do what you are comfortable with. So if you are having grey hairs mostly in the crown area, this method of applying henna will completely cover all your grey hair evenly. And you may then apply it to the length of your hair if necessary. This way it makes the application easier. Okay, for some of you who have sinus related issues, avoid adding curd, lime juice or aloe vera and methi to this henna mix as you may catch a cold easily. Instead, you can add few drops of eucalyptus oil to the henna paste. Okay, once you've finished applying, cover your hair with a shower cap to keep the henna moist inside. Don't let the henna dry out because it will become stiff and very dry. And it's harder to wash it which will lead to hair breakage. Cover your hair and let it rest for 2-3 to three hours and just wash it with water. Do not shampoo wash your hair. And after 3 hours, I just rinsed my hair with water. Please keep in mind that after henna application, do not shampoo wash your hair. Simply rinsing your hair with water allows the henna color to stick to your hair strands for a longer period of time and does not fade away sooner, giving you a stronger dark shade. I'll show you in close up. As you can see, the henna has covered almost all of the grey hairs. Now let your hair as it is for the day and let's see what's to be done on day 2. And the next day, which is day 2, oil your hair. You can use any hair oil that you use. Here I'm using DIY hair oil, which is a wonderful hair oil that controls hair fall and stimulates new hair growth. I'll provide the hair oil video in the description. You can check that as well. Apply the hair oil from the roots to the tip of the hair and give a gentle massage. Once you're done oiling, tie your hair and let it as it is. And shampoo wash your hair the next day. But if you're in a hurry, you can shampoo wash your hair after 2 hours of hair oiling. And it's day 3, I have shampoo washed my hair. The color of henna has further darkened. I've styled my hair, you can style it any way you wish. And I love how the shade has turned out. It's between a deep brownish burgundy color. And for some of you who is not fond of this burgundy color, especially in the front line of your hair, I've got a simple hack. Here I have instant roll-on hair touch-up stick, which is similar to kajal that we use. Honestly, this is not transfer proof. But yes, it still comes to the rescue if your henna sometimes fades away or when you need a touch-up for blackish brown color. This is almost made with all natural ingredients and it's absolutely safe for your hair. Or you can use any waterproof mascara that you use for your eyelashes. 
Remove the excess and brush it up. This gives you a more of natural looking color in the front line, which is specially handy for those of you who prefer blackish tone in the front. This process is optional. You can do just the way you want. You can also watch my other DIY remedy using henna and indigo to cover gray or white hairs with a two-step process to get 100% natural jet black hair color naturally. I'll link that video in the description box. Do check that as well. And for henna application, initially to cover all your grey hair, you need to apply henna mask once a week. And once all the hair is completely coloured, you can start reapplying henna mask twice a month and that should be good enough. And you don't have to worry about using chemical based hair dyes anymore. I hope you found this video helpful and share it with your loved ones and do consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you all in another one. Take care and may God bless you.